Hey everyone, Nico here with Behavior Analyst Supervisor. Thank you for joining us for our free Wednesday Zoom calls. Here you're watching on YouTube, but you could also join us on Wednesday. If you're interested in the link to these calls to join live, feel free to send us an email at info at behavioranalystsupervisor.com. You can also just check out our Instagram. We post questions every single day on Instagram. We also post the link to our free Zoom calls. Every Wednesday, we go through a different task list item area, such as A1. We'll talk a little bit about that task list item, and then we'll go through three mock exam questions relating to that task list area. We hope that this provides an opportunity for you to learn a little bit more about the task list and also dive deep into question dissection. We here at Behavior Analyst Supervisor really focus on providing explanations on why an answer is correct and why it's also incorrect. So we appreciate that you joined us. If you have any questions throughout the duration of this video, feel free to shoot us an email, hit that like and subscribe button for more information. Also, you can always leave a comment and we'll be sure to reach back out to you. Thanks again, and I'm Miko with Behavior Analyst Supervisor. You'll also be hearing from Amy and Kevin. Talk to you soon. Sweet. Welcome. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Yeah, hump day. We're getting over it, I hope. <laughs> Some of you on the East Coast are just about done, or maybe you are done with your day. Right, Miko? <laughs> oh, yeah. Wrapping it yeah. up. So if you don't know me, I'm Kevin. Miko's over on the other, the East Coast. I'm on the West. And as always, my sidekick <laughs> is here. next to me. So what we want to do is go over a topic, as we do every week, just for a little bit. So we have a few questions. Probably there isn't time to go over your questions, but I really do want to encourage you to reach out, you know, email us info at behavioranalystsupervisor.com because that's what we want to do is get into a discussion and help you understand these things. But without further ado, time to move on. Okay, here we go. I was like, I got to check with my handler over here. Here we go. We're going to talk about B2 or this task list item, define and provide examples of stimulus and stimulus class. Wait, you forgot something. What did I forget? I let you forget it. So everybody who stays till the end, at the end, we'll be giving away a free new to you mixed mini mock. So 25 stay question on the call and we'll spin the wheel at the end. Okay, cool. All right. So the only thing that's, I think, difficult about this, and Miko, you jump in if you need to, too, is the stimulus classes. I mean, it's pretty easy to understand the stimulus, but the stimulus classes, you're like, especially the arbitrary or, or functional classes, it's like, is that a th you know, how does this fit or is, do these things fit into a class? And I think that's the only difficult thing about this. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe there's nothing difficult about it. Everybody's just got That'd it. That'd be good. So I usually try to start this portion with some kind of impromptu or improv. So like, is there anything confusing? You're not sure how this would be categorized. So if there is, reach out into the chat. You can chat Miko, Miko McDaniel uh, mm -hmm. in the chat. Is there anything that somebody wants to talk about? Categorize. And if not, we'll just get into the question. You questions. can also unmute yourself. If yeah, you yeah. Just want to tell us. Yeah, what do you have to say? It's a stimulus or it's confusing. You're not sure if it's a stimulus class, et cetera. And if not, how would we categorize a water bottle and what other things could fit into a stimulus class with a water bottle? Okay. Did you just make that up or is that? No, 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 it's in the chat, in the chat. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, well, that's creative. That's good. Okay, so, I mean, obviously it's just a stimulus. So we've got to have multiple things to make it a water bottle. But how about we have a stimulus class of all the things that hold water? So it's a bottle of water. It's a cup of water. It's a pitcher of water. It's a jar of water. It's a pool. <laughs> It's all kinds of fun things. But if I said all of those things, then we would look at, okay, they have some formal feature. So we're gonna talk about these, but they have a formal feature in common that they have a, sh a similar shape maybe, um, or that they're solid in some way so that, that you know water doesn't fall off through it. Um, but they're also probably a functional or arbitrary class if they don't look like they have some physical features in common. And sometimes it's, we're going to show you that it, it sometimes uh, is both, or maybe, maybe you can come up with a class that's all three of these things that has formal, temporal, and functional um, parts to it. So 
remember that this is made up by humans, right? So it's not exactly that everything has to fit in just one category. Sometimes you can find things that overlap, but thanks for the example, whoever came up with that. Let's get into some of the questions though. So I, I feel like I, I like to talk a lot. There's only half an hour to do this, but um, here's a question for you and you can chat the answer. Or you can just think about it by yourself, whatever. Uh, but here we go. Sergeant Jack surveyed the grisly crime scene. I want a list of everyone entering or leaving the building this morning before the murder, he demanded of the responding officer. This sergeant's request is a, or and what? Is it a stimulus? Is it an arbitrary stimulus class? Is it a functional stimulus class? Or is it a temporal stimulus class? Give us some time to think about that. You look like you're thinking about it. I am thinking about it. Very pensive face. You guys can't see it, can you? We've got some answers coming through the chat already. It looks like we are in uh, unanimous agreement with D, temporal stimulus class. Oh man, see, this is an easy topic. That's great. I want it to be easy some of the time. Um, when it gets difficult, that's what we're really here for, right? But you're right, that's it. You can see that, so I've tried to hide it. The test might try to hide it too, but you can see it. It's before, I want all the things that happened before. And maybe that we could say, well, he's talking about the, the people. So there's, you know, we could say that's another stimulus class. Though. Um, maybe that's a formal or functional stimulus class. Um, arbitrary stimulus class and functional class to me are AKAs. We're really just talking about things that don't have a physical feature in common or they don't have a temporal um, component in common. So they evoke the same behavior. But we'll talk more about that. I agree with you all though. Yep. yep, that one works for me. That's all the stuff before is the class that you care about. And that's how I'm gonna put it for the rest of this time. It's about what you care about is all the stimuli that uh, function in this way or all the stimuli that are temporarily related in this way or all the stimuli that are related by their whatever physical feature, okay? So Miko is gonna take the next question. There you All go. right, let's do it. Before it started raining, a ray of sunshine forced its way through the overcast, through the window, and warmed my face. The sunbeam is best characterized as which? A stimulus, an arbitrary stimulus class, a formal stimulus class, or a temporal stimul stimulus class? Give y'all a minute to throw your answers in the chat or keep them in your mind. <laughs> Looks like we have some uh, some real smarties on the call today. They're getting this one right too. I love it. So yeah. it looks like we also have unanimous agreement here for A, a stimulus. And again, I would agree with y'all that this is a stimulus. It's a single thing, the ray of sunshine. Um, and I think the most important thing about a stimulus is that it's noticeable. If you have something that changes that's not noticeable, it doesn't count as a stimulus, right? So it has to be a noticeable change in the environment. The sun beaming through and warming your face has created a change, so that makes it a stimulus. Uh, if we were to look at an arbitrary stimulus class, maybe this is uh, the sun, maybe it's the radiator heater in your room, and maybe it's my garage because it's super hot in there, and those all warm my face. That might be an arbitrary stimulus class. A formal stimulus class might be the sun, a wheel, and the moon, right? They're all circles or circle-ish. And then temporal would be, does it come before? Does it come after? I always think of like my ABCs, right? Antecedent behavior consequence for a temporal stimulus class. Great. Yeah, I like that way of thinking about it too. So, I, and I like what you're doing there, Miko, is you guys all out there try to put uh, something in each one of these categories. You know, what would that look like? I love that question. And if you don't know me already, then yes, I, I really think examining these questions by picturing what, what it would look like or what that answer would do are, is really important. And if you're unsure, send us what you're thinking in terms of these, and we're happy to give you feedback. Absolutely. And we'll tell you, yeah, you're 80% there, add this component, or it's not quite there, let us help you. Yeah, 
We'll do it gently. Don't just worry. Just a thumbs up. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, we're here to help. Okay, one more question, and then I want to talk a little bit more about it. But some Bolivian pan flute music, a waft of lavender essential oil, and a pair of strong hands all relax me. These are considered stimuli, functional stimulus class, formal stimulus class, or temporal stimulus, stimulus class. This is the only day I will ever say this to Kevin. You were really nice to all of us today and you gave us some easy ones. I <laughs> tried to make them yeah. hard. <laughs> so you're welcome on accident. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have about 12 Bs in the answer. So I'm going to say the crowd agrees that it is B, a functional stimulus class. Okay, great. And what's like that function? Ah, uh, relaxing, Kevin. Exactly. I even said it. But even if I didn't say it, you could maybe come up with, well, oh, those all sound like something you would see in a massage parlor or something. <laughs> okay. So they have... Um, they might have the same function. And th this is a little bit difficult about these things. Um, is, are they all things that relax you? Not everybody. Um, are they all things found in a um, massage parlor? Well, some people might say that. I think the new word is spa. Oh, sorry. I don't think there are massage parlors. Anymore. I shouldn't say massage parlor because no, it conjures so. up some. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What is it, what does it make you think of? I think you should say spa. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> the spa of that uh yeah so it what we say is it, it um the functional class means it evokes a similar behavior so let's talk about some examples but this is one where it might evoke spa in amy and it might evoke, <laughs> evoke massage parlor <laughs> kevin uh, i'm not sure what that says about kevin and his history but all right so i'm going to throw these out not exactly in question form, but let's just talk about it. A Persian, a Scottish fold, a rag doll, an American short hair. Anybody know what those are? <laughs> yeah, no, you do. Dogs. <laughs> close. Really yes, close. they are animals. This is cats. good. They're I cats. See. These are okay. breeds of cats. So. And so obviously it's not very functional class if you don't know what it's supposed to evoke, but that's the idea with a stimulus class or a functional or arbitrary stimulus class anyway, is that those things, maybe they don't have too much in common, but they evoke the same behavior they should, or you intend for them to, right? But you can also see that if this is a functional class for you to say cats or cat breeds, there's also the formal uh, class here. They have something in common. They all have fur, at least all these breeds do. They all have four legs unless, you know, one gets hit by a car or something. But so you can see that how these things can blend. And I wouldn't worry about it because if they're, you're asked about this on the test, they have to be clear enough to fit in just one category to fit one answer, right? But here we go. Let's try this one. A friend saying, want to hold my snake? Or an invitation to go to hell. Uh, and a man in overalls asking if you'd like to try some ham hock. What? It's just the interesting it's a little one. stereotypical, maybe. <laughs> but Well, people are thinking about that. I definitely had to Google what a ragdoll cat was just to see the picture. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, they're cute, right? They're kind of fluffy. Fluffy, fluffy. Yeah. I know, I was like, rag doll, you mean like raggedy Ann? So what do okay. people think of this one, Mika? I know, I'm curious. We, uh, it's it's looking a little, um, we got crickets so far. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're like, this guy's crazy, yeah. I'm out. Right? That was my first thought. I was like, who even came yeah, up with those I even days? thought that as yeah. I was writing it, but um, I was thinking functional class for evoking no, no, thank you, or something like that. Anyway, um, it it doesn't always work, and I want you to see that. You know, if it doesn't have any formal uh, features in common, and it doesn't seem to relate to temporal, um, it, it doesn't have any temp temporal relations, then it's the other. You know, it's an arbitrary class or a functional class. 
Um, you won't have that one on the test, everyone. I no, guarantee it. No, no. But you, I don't know. You could have some variation of these things, <laughs> categories. Uh, freedom, justice, righteousness. What does it make you think of? Civics. High school <laughs> civics <laughs> class, okay. That's maybe not the same <laughs> as everyone else, but we'll see. Uh, looks like we're a uh, bit split between formal and arbitrary. Oh, okay, cool. So if you see a formal, I'm thinking like physical features. So do they have a formal physical feature in, in mind? Well, you might say, well, they're words. You know, they're on a page. Okay, so I, there's the formal class that they have in common. But I think most of us are thinking there's some sort of ideals or, um, you know, how else do I put that? They're impossible ideas you know well yeah they, they they don't have substance to them something like that um anyway the, i think that this is mostly an arbitrary class but you can find some form uh in them if you want to anyway obviously the last one's temporal we don't really need to go over that but i want you to see that in between things before this after that all of that is temporal class or could be Okay. All right. So I am going to. Yeah, you're okay. okay. I'm just going to try to take one minute. I try to do this in just one minute, just to show you what we have on our uh, website. So it looks like this. If you go to the BCBA page or BCABA, if you're taking that test as well, we have a calendar of events including these and what topic there might be next Wednesday and every Wednesday until the end of the year. Um, Miko has a Tuesday and Thursday class for our all you need guaranteed purchases, purchasers. And then Amy and I are doing a four hour thing twice a month where we break down at least 45 questions and really go in depth. So it's fun stuff, whether you can make it live or you watch the recording. Those all come with the 499 package. It's like everything that we have. If you are just interested in all the cart stuff, then we have a 299 package that has two exams, all of our mini mocks, and uh, about nine and a half hours of video that goes through the task list. And of course, individual items, but that's a different page right there. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to this and see if we have any questions or are we ready for? Well, let's see if there are any spinning. questions and then we'll spin. Okay. While you all are throwing your questions in the chat or unmuting yourself, I also wanted to let you know that we do a free daily question on Instagram. So Monday through Friday, we'll post a question. Um, these are new questions. So they're not on any of our mocks, not on our mini mocks, not the questions we use on these Wednesday calls. They're all fresh questions. Um, I think we're going to have to make them a little bit harder because y'all have been doing really I well. I know. You guys <laughs> killed it. <laughs> so... Um, hope you appreciate that and you like it. And if you have any questions, we're always here to help. So you can shoot us an email and we'd be happy to jump on a 10 minute call with you or um, give you some examples through email too. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for saying that, Miko. I love the examples. I really. So, I think we're ready. Nobody has questions, right, Miko? I just looked at the chat. So we're good to go. Can you show them your cute little app? Like you can show them, but. You have to spin it and then you can see it. Okay. Well, I don't know. You can see all, all of your names are going around <laughs> on the wheel of fortune. So let me hit it. Where do I? Okay. I just touch it. There we go. Oh, they're, they're not see. Gonna be able to read I know it you're now. not going to be able to read it. I'll, I'll wait and see. Oh, it's slowing down. And Lindsay, you're the Lindsay. big winner today. Is there only one Lindsay here? <laughs> I think there's only one okay. Lindsay. So, Lindsay, if we have your email, you could just let us know. But if we don't, we need your email to give you an account, add that mini mock to it. But Awesome. Well, thank you guys for joining us. And we'll be back here next Wednesday, same time, same place. Some of you will probably see Nico before then, tomorrow at 3 yep. or 2 Pacific. But That's other right. than that, we're That's good right. to go. Okay. Uh, Lindsay, if you want to stay on, and we can, get your, <laughs> we can get your email. All right. Thank you, guys. Okay. Thanks, everybody.